everybody video here for you today seems like it's been forever since i did a history video even though it's only been about five days seems like it's been even longer since we talked a little ancient america so why don't we go down to tiny parkin arkansas today talk some ancient america city that used to exist here a long time ago but here is parkin arkansas just north of it there is the parkin archaeological state park right down here a little uh, park here gateway that you get into remnants of at least one mound here there used to be a whole city in here right down here here is the archaeological park today the remnants of a large mound right down here turn back the clock this is the way it used to look like large mound city here inside of a palisade fence this was a very large city and there was little outposts of this community along these rivers here here is Atlas Obscura, Parkin Archaeological State Park. The scant remains of an expansive indigenous civilization can be seen at this Arkansas State Park. Here is a look at the one mound remaining out of many that were here originally. It says here about a half hour west of Memphis, tucked up against the St. Francis River, is one of the most significant archaeological discoveries in the American South. Indeed, very likely one of the most significant in the entire United States. Parkin Archaeological State Park in eastern Arkansas is home to what many scholars believe to be the home of the Native American village of Kosqui, chronicled in the expedition of Ferdinand de Soto in 1541. There's a look at the site today. One major mound left, but there is a park here. A little preservation of the one main mound remains. Here is a little pic, I believe, from the visitor center here. It says there was 400 houses, 17-acre village at this site here. And it was backed by the river, and I guess there was a small moat going around it, and also a palisade fence. It says the parking site was the capital for a province of possibly 25 villages along the St. Francis and Tyronza rivers. Archaeologists refer to this province as the parking phase the journals of Hernan de Soto expedition refer to this village, the province, and the people by the name of the chief, Cosqui. Here's some pottery found at the site. This one, maybe a bird's beak right there. And then this one, made in the form of a human head. Here are some more of those head effigy pots here found at the site. Here is one of the websites I will leave below. All we have left at this park as far as mounds is the big cheese mound here or the remnants of it. There's a look at it from a distance. You get an idea how these were all removed here. You get a slight view of some of them here, just the remnants of them remain. Here is a visitor center. Here's a look inside visitor center, some of the artifacts here. Here are some interesting effigies made by the Parkin phase people. And there's an interesting story from the journals of Hernan de Soto that he planted a large wooden cross here in 1541 on top of the large chief's mound, the largest mound in the city, and this was witnessed by thousands of people. Now, a lot of people thought the best guess for the site of Cosqui in Hernan de Soto's journals was this site of Parkin Archaeological State Park. It just says here, things were not going so well for de Soto. In 1541, three years into his exploration in North America, the conquistador had not found gold or a passage to the Orient. He'd encountered many native tribes, which were overwhelmed by the spectacle of his armor-clad soldiers who were riding strange beasts, horses. They first honored him as a god, but his brutal treatment of the people he met soon soured relations. It says, which makes the events at what is now Parkin Archaeological State Park all the more curious. This was the site of the village of Cosqui, inhabited by the Cosqui Indians. The Cosqui were unique. No other native group bears any resemblance to the Cosqui's customs or lifestyle. Farmers, their fields covered the rich bottomland of the St. Francis River. They lived in a moated village of about 400 circular houses with peak thatch roofs. Their most enduring artifacts are intriguing head pots, pottery made to look like human heads, each one had distinctive characteristics, tattoos, piercings, and scars. Here's another look at those head pots. Maybe these are the scars they are talking about. 
It says, as far as anyone could tell, DeSoto was the first European to travel to what is now Arkansas. When DeSoto and his company showed up, Cosby welcomed them, invited the Spaniards to stay in the village. DeSoto declined, probably fearing his reputation preceded him and that the Cosby would kill them as they slept. The Cosby may have had an ulterior motive. They were enduring a severe drought. DeSoto might be a god or at least have a direct line to the divine. No harm in asking if he could put a fix in. A devout Catholic, DeSoto was thrilled to oblige. He orders his troops to construct a massive wooden cross. His priest conducted mass in a shadow. According to his diaries kept by his scribes, it rained the next day, cementing the Spaniards' good relations with the Cosqui. Still looking for treasure, DeSoto pressed on. Within a year, he was dead, felled by a fever. The Cosqui also soon vanished. The Spaniards brought diseases for which the natives had no immunity, so the Cosqui may have fallen to smallpox or measles, and the village was abandoned. But this village was lived in for five, six hundred years. Here are some more interesting effigy pots here. One with the human effigy here. Looks like holding his head right here. Here is a look at the mound, picked from 1966. Little plaque there commemorating DeSoto, planting a large cross on top of the large mound there about 480 years ago. DeSoto's journals are very interesting. He visited a lot of these sites that I've talked about in my Ancient America series, cities that were around till about four or 500 years ago. But he calls them totally different names than we call them today. And it's, some of it is a little confusing, but it's pretty well documented, his journal. Here is a depiction of him planting a large cross on the Chiefs Mound here at the Parkin site. It just happened to be July 4th, 1541, according to DeSoto's journals, that members of his expedition planted a cross on top of the large Chiefs Mound here. These people were looking for divine help. In the drought, but down here about four years ago, it shows that they did archeological work here and they actually think they found remnants of this cross. Wood samples were brought up, dating was done on it, in 1541, fit in the window. It says here, the Parkin artifact may be one of only two crosses DeSoto placed while in the United States. It says DeSoto did not convert the Indians there to Christianity, but the natives may have accepted the cross because DeSoto's men helped Cosquee and his village overcome a warring tribe. Here's one of a few stories that came out about four years ago, wood found in Arkansas, thought to be the remains of a cross left in the 1540s. But work done here on the mound at the parking site. Here's another website I will leave below. Did they find DeSoto's cross here? Well, I really never found a website that went over final conclusions to this study, but definitely very interesting. We have a story in the journals coming from 480 years ago then a recent discovery at this site points to the spot that this is where DeSoto planted a cross here 480 years ago. Here's some of the wood fragments they found during their research here. They did some initial dating on it, but they wanted to do tree ring studies, but I never found a conclusion to this story. Maybe somebody else can post some info, but I just thought this was a cool story. It goes along with my Ancient America series perfectly. That is a video on the Parkin site in Arkansas. DeSoto probably visited here today. Just one mound remains. This was the Cosqui village here. And this was spread out all over this area here. If we back out, this whole area was formed by these villages here. Here is a look at them. This is the Cosqui site here. Little mound sites were all around this area here. Kosky site was the main part of the village right here. But that is a video coming from Tiny Park in Arkansas. The population in this area was probably greater 800 years ago than it is today. Just one of many cities, hundreds of cities that covered the ancient United States a long, long time ago. Kind of lost history. Hope thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.